So we got these um, training pads. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am probably doing one of my most exciting videos. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my puppy haul. So I'm filming this three days before I'm going my puppy. So I'm picking him up on Wednesday it's currently Sunday afternoon and I'm so excited so I'm getting a cockapoo um I said I will tell you his name um and show him so this is him I'm not gonna be telling you his name till a little bit later on in this video so let's get on to the video okay so I'm not sure the prices of everything but I'm gonna start off with what I got from Pets at Home so we picked them up this little toy, this, um, they will be squeaking, so it's in advance. Um, this little toy we picked them up from the puppy section. Then we got some rope toys. We got this ball, um, this rope ball. We got this, which I'm not really sure what it is, but I know it's obviously rope. And then I got this t rope pole thing. Um, we just picked them up. It came in a pack of three, I think it was like five pound. Or maybe less i'm not really sure i don't know what this really is but we picked him up this tennis ball thing then we got this tennis ball but it's actually like a bouncy tennis ball so we can like throw it and then we um we're actually getting a boy but we picked up this blue and pink teether toy for like puppies and it's really soft for him then we got a kong so I've seen those people with Kongs and you just put like treats in them. Um, so we picked him up a Kong. Now moving on to like walking stuff. Um, I picked him, we got um, him this puppy lead and collar. It was only five pound. We got it for the, cause obviously you can't go out into these 12 weeks. So it's just for like him to get used to it. And then we'll maybe put in the lead on him to go outside because um, we don't want him going all the way around the garden when he's not vaccinated. And also we have a rabbit. So it's just to keep an eye out on him where, where he goes. So just got this puppy one and it comes with this little bow. Then um, we got two poo bag holders. This one, the one my brother, my dad liked. Um, it's more, cause obviously it's more for when they walk in. Um, and it just opens up and then you can grab them from the bottom. This one was four pounds cause I can remember the price of this one. Then this is the one me and my mum liked. It was just plain, um, like it's two different blues. Uh, and it just screws up at the bottom. And this was only a pound. Then we picked up a pack of poo bags. These were only like, this here, there was only like three pound, I think. Then we got these grooming wipes because my dad likes to do a lot of walking and go on like muddy trails. So when he gets home, we can do this instead of bath him all the time. Now moving on to the bigger stuff that we got from Pets at Home. Okay, so I guess this isn't really a bigger thing, but it is something very important for a puppy. So we got these um, training pads. Um, we're gonna be putting these like by his crate in there, which will also be like in a minute. But we picked up these ones from Pets at Home. Then we got the food he is currently on, which is, oh, it's really heavy. Um, it is the Rain, Wainwright's wet food. So I'll show you what it looks like. So um, this is currently what he's on because he's only um, seven weeks. He's almost eight weeks. So we get to pick him up in three days. But then we um, are going to transition him into dry food. So we actually got this bag for free from signing up because um, with the Pets at Home website. And we got uh, the exact one of the wet food but the dry food to slowly transition him to the dry food. Then we got his crate from Pets at Home. I will insert a picture here of it. This is it empty and then I will show you at the end when everything is in it because I haven't showed you everything that's in it yet. But now I'm going to move on to B&M which you will be able to find out his name. Okay, so the first thing we got from B&M's is just um, this massive blanket. Um, we got this one from B&M as it was really big. And I think this was like £7. This is the first thing we actually bought for him. Um, and it's just brown with bones and spots. And then it's got fleece inside. And I've been using it 
like I'm using it right now because I'm really cold. Then we actually got matching bowls to the, oh, where's the front, to the blankets. We got two of these for his food and water. They are quite big, but they're okay for now. Um, oh, so you can go into them. These were three pound each. Then we got him this chew toy thing. Um, we picked him up this and this was £1.49. Then we got this bath towel. Uh, it's like a, a super absorbent pet towel. This was 2 pounds Then we got this brush because he's like a curly head slash like if because we don't know what he's going to be yet because he's either going to be curly or wavy. We have met him. He's currently wavy at the moment, but his dad um, is super curly. So we picked up this like brush. Um, I think that's all we got from B&M. Actually, we have, that's not all what we got from B&M. So this right here is his treat jar. I will tell you his treats what we got in a minute. But on here it says his name, so I will be telling you his name in a second. So we decided to get like a jar from B&M. This was one ninety nine. this jar was, and we decided to put his name on it. So, I don't know if you'll be able to read this, but his name is Hugo. So, um, we've, we had a name set out and we heard Hugo when we went and seen him and we fell in love with it. So now his name is Hugo and it's been so hard not to say his name because ever since we've seen him, like two weeks ago, two weeks ago, we've had the name set out. So that is all we got from um, B and M. Now moving on to Tesco. So we didn't get much from Tesco's. We actually picked up these poo bags. Um, they just these ones are just for the house. Like there's a hundred in them. Then we actually picked up the treats from Tesco. So we picked up four bags of the WAG treats. Uh, where's the other bag? So we picked up four bags of WAG treats. That is currently what is in his treat jar. So I'll tell you the ones we've got. So in the treat jar, we have the low fat one and the sensitive ones, which we are trying them on. But we'll also be using the puppy and junior ones and also the training treats. Then from Home Bargains, we actually only got two things from Home Bargains. We got this little sloth toy, which <coughs> squeaks. We got this for my uncle's dog um, and she loved it. So we picked him up one for our puppy. This is probably bigger than him, but we got it anyway. And then even though it's a boy, I picked him up a sparkly bone <coughs> because I love anything sparkly. Then I'm going to move on to Amazon because we only got two things. We got this um, Grooming Professionals shampoo. I seen this girl have it and I ordered it as soon as I seen it. It smells like baby powder and oh, it smells so good. And it is a massive bottle, so I'm really excited to try that. Then I also seen another girl... Um, have this and we had to order it it's called a little buddy lamb oh, it's so cute so it sits at the back of the crate and it has a heartbeat heartbeat so it mimics the mother's heart so obviously it's just so soft and i called it nelly the lamb because why not um now also um, we got this bed for him. It seemed a bit big, but then the inside is quite small. But this is only for him whilst he's a puppy. We're bringing him home in this. It's not going in his crate. It's just going to be for if he wants to sit, like when he's sat on the sofa, we can put him in this. So we got him this. This was actually from BM as well. I think this was like £8. And then I will show you the crate now when everything is in it. So the last clip I actually filmed was Sunday and it is now Tuesday which means I'm picking him up tomorrow Oops, and I'm so excited. So I thought I'd show you the cage all set up and then show you I think there's like one more thing I need to show you. 
So this is the crate that will be staying there, but it's a nice size crate and it is a double lock door. Um, so it just opens up and I can also open that door. So we put the puppy pad down and then we're just using this as the bed for now. We have the two bowls, the like chew toy thing, and then this is the lamb that has the heartbeat in it. But yeah, this door will be open at all times. I picked that up, it just fell off the door. Um, but I really like the size and it's just a nice grey as well. And then this is it with this door open as well. If we decide to have this door open, the lamb will probably be put at the back. Then the last thing we got for him is this little name collar for when he can go out and it says Hugo on it with a little paw print. So my brother got this off Etsy. Um, let me see if I can show you. So this is the company that it's from. I'll put it on screen just in case you want to get it. But it is so cute and it just says Hugo on it. So that is the last thing that we've got for him. Obviously, we will pick him up some more stuff as he goes grows older. But that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed and want to see a lot more puppy content, make sure you stick around and subscribe and like this video. So yeah, bye guys. Mm -hmm.